Hi everyone, this is Hiowa here. Um, today I am going to be unboxing what I hope I've just received this post, I haven't opened it yet, so I hope it's going to be a Samsung Tab S6 Lite. Um, I've actually been planning to buy a tablet for probably the last year. Every single time I come close to buying one, um, a new model gets released or there's an offer on sale for different models, older models. I mean, originally I was going to settle on a iPad, but then the new iPad Air got released. Um, no, originally I was going to settle on a Samsung S7 tablet, but then, sorry, the S8 got released later on in around February. Then I was uh, testing those out, but Samsung doesn't have any good stores for testing, even though I tested it in the um, general stores where they have models of these things. Um, hmm. Packaging is not great because there's no plastic wrap. So all it has is this do not accept if seal is broken caution seal on them, as you can see. Uh, this isn't the new Samsung S model, um, this is the old 2020 model. So the sale was £80 cheaper, usually they sell that to £99. Uh, there was a sale for the uh, 100 and... 100 and... what is it? 128 gig model at... Um, let me just pause this, I need to get a knife. Let's get rid of these. Alright, so let's open this up. So this is a 64 gigabyte model. The reason why I went with Samson is due to the expandable storage. And also because it comes with a free S Pen. First thing I don't like about the box is that this sits in the box perfectly, but there's no top layer to protect it. And the box is a perfect fit for the tablet, so it means that there's no padding on the sides. So if someone was uh, not very attentive to this kind of stuff, they would have uh, probably bashed the side of the box. But luckily, there is no damage on this box that I can see. Though the Amazon box was um, a bit dented, but that's Amazon usually doing their usual s stuff. There's a opening here. Let's open this up quickly. The other thing I like about the S6 Tam Lite is that um, I don't need a good camera. So it's not part of the price, at least as with the S8 and the S7, they're usually part of the price. So let's go and turn this on. So power button, volume button, USB-C, and then the headphone jack at the top. I think it's got two speakers, so one here, one here. Um, actually, let's look at what comes with the rest of the box. So here's a charger brick that um, all the new tablets, including Apple, are no longer giving out the brick. So that's the downside. They say it's for the environment, but most of the new tablets support fast charging. So it means you have to go out and find a fast charging brick and including the cable, which is a fast charging cable these days, since these normal cables don't support fast charge. So there's another way of them to kind of exploit the consumer to buy more accessories and to save them the money of having to actually put a brick into the uh, packaging, which is cheap, basically, of these companies. Some might argue otherwise, but uh, I, I do feel it's very cheap of them. So this is the S Pen. It's uh, packaged in. It's very small. Uh, I'm going to have to test this out. There's a button here, but... According to what I've read, there's not supposed to be any Bluetooth functions on the um, on this uh, Tab S6. So, actually, don't know if it's supposed to 
Ooh. I should probably seal that up before I end up putting some sticker marks on this. I'm not too sure if there's supposed to be any magnets on here. So this flat side is supposed to... So there is a magnet somewhere. Or is there not a magnet? Feels like they're supposed to be. Yeah, there's a magnet on the side. So that's fine. This is not the strongest magnet, so I can quite easily push it aside, but it's fine, I guess. Since it's a quite a cheap tablet. Um, yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to check the rest of the box. That's empty. That's empty. So this is what I mean. Like they, they, they wasted all that space to kind of put the tablet on top with this piece of paper. But they could have reduced the size by half and then put another one on top so that it could provide some more protection. That's one thing I don't really like about that. They could have done a little bit more. I guess this is uh, warranty info and stuff. Oh, here's the pin for the... Um, removing the memory card slot quick start guide side key rolling key front button yeah okay and then the warranty information so I guess I'm gonna have to sign up for the warranty okay let's try and turn it on oh Hmm. Is this? Hmm? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is P61. Okay, I'll have to check the actual thing. But this is the version that has the original Samsung um, operating, sorry, not the operating, the CPU. Uh, not the new one with the Snapdragon. So I have to check that out. The other thing I got was a case. So while this is starting up, it was Amazon and their crappy packaging, I swear. What is the point of having stuff like this if it's not going to work properly the first time? gotten the screen well glass screen pro premium tempered whatever I mean this was the cheapest one I don't usually spend a lot on these because I generally take quite good care of my items but I need one just in case uh, I got a Duzona case for this I wanted a see-through case um, so I'm gonna have to see how this works as well See how it fits as well. So it doesn't seem to have any strong magnets, which is actually a concern for me. So let's start this up. We all know that, um, no, this is optional. What? I hate when people say optional, but they don't actually give you the option. Okay, whatever. Choosing the Wi Fi network. All right, I'm gonna have to go set this up. So, so Wi-Fi is set up. Now I just need to download the updates. So while I'm doing that, I'm gonna continue on with the case. So I like this feeling. This is fine as well. Um, so the choices for the tablet only had two choices. One was the um, blue color, which is a bit too flashy for me. So I didn't go for that. And the um, Oxford gray. Tear off the protective film. Okay. Tear off the protective film, but the sticker doesn't tear off, so it's a bit pointless on that side. Let's see if we can tear it off from the inside. There's a hole here. 
and there's a hole here and there's a hole here I'm not too sure why there's holes there and there this one has a pen support so I've got one where I can store the pen since the S Pen um, doesn't magnetically stick on this doesn't seem like it sticks on magnetically which is kind of a concern actually to me now so it's a snug fit for the pen it's not too bad but I'm not happy with this not having any magnets hmm if that's the case I might have to think about getting a different case Let's see if I can Don't need to copy apps and data, so I don't have any. 46% charge when you get the tablet, which is good. All right, I don't know if I can remove this protective layer. It is there, there's this plastic that's probably gonna have to slowly peel it off gradually. All right, it wants me to sign in. Okay, so I have to stop the video. Uh, yep, so sorry for the interruption. Um, so this is the tablet. I have put in my password and everything, so set it up. Let me just type. This is what the tablet looks like. I've not taken off the plastic yet. I completely forgot about that. Um, well, I don't usually like to take the plastic off anyway, so that's never been an issue for me. There's the two stores, Google Play stores in here, I assume. Google Play Movie and TV seems to have made them all together these days. I don't generally use tablets and my phone is kind of out of date as well. So let's go into my settings first. There seems to be some useless apps like Game Launcher, Netflix, Spotify, some of these are internal Samsung apps. I would probably should use the notes to test out the pen. So next, next, next. Start. Open a new one. Anything will do. Don't need noise. The pen is very soft to tip, so. <clears throat> So from what people told me is that Samsung native apps work really well with the pen. So I'm going to have to download some drawing apps because I plan to use this for drawing mainly. Um, but as you can see, it is quite good. So there's no clear button. Apparently holding down this is supposed to act like a... No idea. Anyway, so so it's good. I have to get used to it. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you for joining me for this. I'm gonna now put this into the case. So the way I put cases in is because the buttons are here. I will put the buttons in first, so that way they don't get damaged if I have to force them through the side. I then bend this part here, ease that in, and then I bend the other part as well to ease that in. So these are silicone cases, and then just, yep. So it's got this snug fitness around it, which is quite nice, and then it's got this gap as well. Then the pen will slide right in there, and the case closed. The only issue with the case is that uh, it has a very weak magnet. So as you can see, it just came apart. So I put it together, shake it a little bit, and then it comes off. This will be in my bag most of the time, so it shouldn't be an issue, but it is an issue if you drop it because this will not keep it protected. It means that there's a chance that it will, this will come down and then it will do this, you know. Um, this provides mainly just two drawing or profiles. This one is like that. The other one, of course, is you put it flat down like this. Um, and that's it.
uh, at some point I'm going to do the glass and then I'm going to show you how I do that as well and then uh, see how that also works. Bye.